Welcome to how to adjust settings in Publisher Chatbot using Core.ai's Bot Builder. This video walks through how to publish a bot for users to access, including adjusting settings like SDK and API configurations, as well as deploying and upgrading your bot. So now you have built your bot, you have tested it, you have made sure it's trained and it can understand communication uh, conversations, and you have enabled channels. The next thing you want to do is make uh, to publish the bot and uh, and make it available to your users. Now, before you do that, there are a few things that you can uh, change here, right? So there are some basic general settings here, and before you publish it for the first time, you get another last chance to name the bot into something more meaningful. You can also add a description here so that it's easy for users to discover and understand what the objective of this bot is when you go look at the bot from the uh, from the bot store. Uh, you can change the custom icon. So the, uh, there's just the default icon right now. You can put in any uh, PNGs, uh, which can be an icon for your bot. And that gets reflected here when you're talking to the bot. Um, that's the icon that's um, shown when in the bot responds back with something. So, so whatever icon you upload here would be the one that's uh, reflected here. You can change the color theme. And then you decide whether this is a general bot, or a general public bot, or just for enterprise users. So if if it has to be an enterprise user who can log, who should be able to log into your your corporate environment or use a corporate ID, they would you would mark it as an enterprise uh, uh, enterprise managed bot. Versus a general bot would be something that's available to everyone. You can still have some uh, level of authentication be, uh, beyond it, uh, but. There are some nuances to it based on how you want to expose and the bot to your end users. Here I can say, uh, uh, I can give an introductory message here. So here by default, now when I'm launched the bot, I don't get a message here. Now, if I set a confirmation message, I can say, hi, this is the training bot. So if I save this, uh, now when the bot launches, that will be the first message I'm greeted with, right? So you can have more detailed information here explaining what this bot does and um, uh, what are the things you can do with it. You have the default bot ID, which is useful for configuring some of the channels, uh, some of the SDK configurations. Again, so we'll look at the SDK uh, configuration for bot kits in a different video. Uh, then. If your bot uses uh, any kind of authorization to the base API, those API and those authorization configurations would show here. So basically if an action and an alert uses the same API, uh, you would need to configure the authorization only once and they become reusable components here. Using the developer share, I can add other developers to the, uh, uh, to the bot who can uh, develop the bot along with me. I can see a history of all the uh, changes that I did. Uh, so we maintain the change log about all the changes to make sure this is audited and you can also eventually revert back to one of the previous versions. Uh, then there are more advanced settings to, uh, to control some of the behavior of the bot and some of the API integration. So these are some advanced topics which we can see later. And then of course you can delete the bot here if you want to, but this can only be done before you publish the bot. Once it's published, you'll have to unpublish it before deleting it. So now that you have done all these steps to uh, set up the bot uh, one last time before you publish it, uh, you can actually go to publishing the task. So I can just go, uh, well, I haven't actually enabled any channel. So let me just enable the email channel, save it, okay. So now I can publish the bot. So I can say uh, uh, the, the first time I'm publishing everything is version one now and they get published. Uh, I get an option to review and confirm it and then I can click here to confirm and publish the bot. And there the, the, the bot is published and now it now the bot is available in all the channels that we have selected. Uh, um, once a bot is published, you will see that the status of the bot is published here. And now if you want to make a change to any of this task, you can click on upgrade and now you are working on a uh, upgraded uh, on a different version of it right so you have the version 1.0 that's already published and you can uh, you have the upgrade version that's uh, work in progress now you can uh, once you are happy with the upgraded version you can again come back here and republish that task and when you're doing it this time you will be asked to enter some kind of release note and 
uh, short and long messages that goes to the user. So if I'm a user who's using this bot, uh, I'll get a notification saying, hey, some of the task in your bot has been upgraded. Here are the new changes. Here are the new capabilities that has been added. And I can also mark it, um, mark it as a minor update or a major update. And based on that, the version number uh, is um, changed accordingly.